Welcome back, friends. Uh, two things today. Got a very exciting story that you'll want to hear. And at the very end, hang on for the end, I got a very important n announcement, uh, something I'm very proud of, and I think a lot of you will be very interested in. Uh, so this first, the story. Uh, while I was uh, the, the director of reliability and maintenance for a uh, large corporation, global, 31 different locations around the world, I was getting given a call um, by the president of the company explained to me about the number one reliability issue we had in the corporation at that time and I needed to get on a plane, my team, get over there and solve it. You know, a guy named Danny joined me. Um, he was familiar with this area much more than I was. Uh, we jumped on a plane, you know. Uh, the issue, um, we had a continuously operational process uh, 365, 24 seven, okay, ran all the time, needed to run all the time. It's an aluminum smelting process. The metal just came at you, you gotta do something with it. Um, the, the molten metal was transferred to the cast house uh, by a uh, molten metal transfer vehicle. And this vehicle was a big buggy that grabbed a bucket. It was able to grab a bucket of this molten metal uh, about 20,000 pounds of it, so a big bucket of molten metal needed to move about a quarter mile from one place to the other to get rid of the metal and cast it into something solid. You know, the plant had nine of these transfer vehicles, uh, and they needed four minimum operational before big problems happened. Well, at the time of the call, there were uh, uh, five of them in the shop, so they had four operational, so it was kind of a little bit of a panic. Uh, so major money maker for us, major problem, major safety problem as well. Uh, the vehicle is designed to pick up this very large bucket uh, and then transfer it. It's also designed to pour, so it just has a tilting mechanism to pour the metal and it pours it into a trough that's contained on the vehicle. So this trough swings in position and then telescopes out and then this, this bucket is tilted into the trough and that trough pours it into a furnace. So it's a, it's a bucket and then a uh, articulating trough with an extension telescope on it. Uh, and the problem was with this trough mechanism. Um, so, you know, uh, that's how, that was the process and there was a lot of people working on it. Um, the problem was uh, during this pouring process of the molten metal, a lot of metal was splashing on the mechanism for the trough. So the, uh, uh, the rack and pinion that was on on there moving the trough in and out the telescoping Also, some of the uh, joints were getting metal on them So it wasn't free to swing some of the hydraulic equipment the uh, you know, the uh, Cylinders were getting metal on it. So it was just kind of gumming it all up uh, Wasn't designed to have metal spilled on it um, So what do you think the solution was? This is Joe Kuhn of Lean Driven Reliability, bridging the gap between best practices that you know you should be doing at your plant. You just can't figure out how to do it. Uh, so you need some simple solutions and maybe uh, some ideas from, uh, from Joe here. Um, so, hey, the reliability engineers on site, you know, they were trialing some shielding. Hey, let's put in place some shielding to keep the metal off some of these critical parts. Uh, the engineers were also working with the manufacturer to make some emergency design changes, you know, just throwing money, all, all kinds of money at this uh, problem. Uh, the maintenance shop was order pre-ordering parts to so they can rapidly turn around these vehicles, these five that were in the shop and any new ones that came up. How fast can we turn these things around? Um, and uh, what do you think Danny did? Uh, well, Danny went out there and observed, observed, and observed, and if you've watched any of my videos, chalk circle observation, all he did was watch the process, watch what was happening, what the operators were doing, you know, what the mechanics did in the shop, just the whole process involved in these vehicles, how they were installed, maintained, PM, and how the vehicles were used, Danny observed that. Um, I give Danny all the credit, it, you know, I was involved, but uh, Danny gets the gold star here. So uh, guess what he found? You know, the system was designed to be fully automatic. So the operator picked up this cruise, this pouring feature was designed to be an automatic. You just hit a button and it uh, lifts up the cruise, the trough extends, and then it tilts, just fully automatic. Well, that automatic process took five minutes. 
the operators placed it in manual um, because that process took about four minutes, saving them a minute every time. The time save re resulted in the operators having more time, more idle time, I'll be honest. Um, and you, you, know, you magnify that through a whole shift, it can turn into an extra hour uh, that you have. You know, the solution, uh, how about we just leave it in automatic? Uh, when the system was in manual, uh, no problem at all. Uh, uh, well, when it was in automatic, no problem at all spilling metal. When it was in manual, that's when the, the sloshing of metal and the spillage occurred. Pretty simple solution. Uh, what was the cost of the solution? <laughs> Nothing. Um, actually, there was a lot of cost to the solution. All the other solutions that we experimented with didn't work. Uh, observation will change your actions, folks. That's the message here. Observation on the shop floor changes your actions. Uh, it will change how you lead and change the decisions that you make. So, hey, for your action next week, you know, everybody's got performance objectives. Everybody's got a problem part problem function in their plant, maybe it's a process, uh, maybe it's a PM, maybe it's predictive maintenance, I don't know. But go to your number one problem, find a place to stand and stand there for four hours next week. I guarantee it's gonna change your actions. Uh, hey, now the exciting announcement. Uh, I have been uh, working on a book the last three months. Uh, it is at the editor uh, as I speak. Um, so I don't know what the total duration of time is going to be before it gets available for sale on Amazon. May, let's, let's just say it's going to be six weeks. So somewhere around the uh, 1st of August, hopefully before that, uh, I'll have a book out um, based on my experiences uh, and some of the stories that I have on these YouTube videos. The book title is Zero to Hero, How to Jumpstart Your Reliability Journey Given Today's Business Challenges. Uh, again, look forward to that. Uh, more to come. Um, safe travels.